Okay, good morning. Day two, Cleveland National Forest hunt in uh, San Diego. <clears throat> okay, all right, so I don't know if I said yesterday, but um, my Amazon package didn't arrive with the broadheads. So now we're hunting with one and a half broadheads. I say half because the tripan that I'm that I use for broadheads, it's always a lighting. The uh, the tripans I use, they have that little collar. I'll link a video I did on those up above, but the little collar on one of them, it wasn't broke, but it was flimsy. So I have one good one and half of another one. So got about a 20 minute hike into where we're going. We're gonna go where we ended the night yesterday. It's it looks very um, secluded, so I think a buck may be in there, but. We'll see. Let's get uh, saddled up and roll out. Good morning. Okay. All right, so we're in the same-ish spot we were yesterday. I'm going to be looking this little pole to the left. Let me go look into the right as well. I'll show you in a second where I saw the first does of yesterday. Um, it's 6.05. So we got 20 minutes till sunrise. Perfect timing. Everything's looking good. I've seen plenty of does back here in the past, but I've never seen four years of hunting never seen a buck back here so it's a good time of year it's chilly it's about 50 degrees out right now and um let's hope we see something so i really feel like a buck would be in here it's secluded it's away from stuff the trail i'm on goes way back here so it doesn't mess with any of this the second doe was down here and then the first doe was right here so i've only missed a class I've seen deer way back here before too. It's 6.40 now, 20 minutes past sunrise. Got the spotting scope out, I'm looking at this ridge right here. And I see a bush or a deer. And it has two very specific ears. I'm thinking like a Mickey Mouse looking thing. So it looks like through the uh, spotting scope. No movement yet though. Had some people walking down this trail right here. Um, maybe they push some deer my way, but nothing yet. I'm thinking about moving already, just because these morning hours are super important, especially out here. If you don't catch a move, it's going to be almost impossible to find them. All right, seven o'clock. We're gonna keep going along this trail, <laughs> get to the backside. Um, so I'm glassing up the. Uh, I'm out of breath. I'm taking like 10 steps. <sighs> I'm glassing up the north, northeast facing slopes. So I remember uh, Remy Warren on a podcast said, um, focus on like southeast, southwest facing. So we're going to try to get an angle where we go look at those slopes. See if we can uh, turn anything up, but I'm technically on the complete wrong side, so we'll see where we go from here. Well, it's been a while, but here we are, classing this up again. <clears throat> I got this little peak right here marked off on my uh, Go Hunt app to glass from, just so I can look on the mountain on my own. They're going to be feeding on this side. Let's get the glass in. All right. So I moved from that spot. I had glass for like 10 minutes. I didn't have any good angles. But on the way back to the main trail, I'm um, side hilling. And I'm seeing lots of scat. Lots. So they're definitely out here. I just don't know what they're tucked up into. I don't have... I don't have any glass. I'm gonna try to get over this ridge. See if I glass down into a little valley, but I got nothing at the moment. All right, back on the trail. Um, complete waste of time. I got. I know, like the whole, you know, just find out where the deer aren't and all that stuff. But you know, that was a complete waste of time. I knew it was cliffed out because I just haven't been there in a while, so I want to go look again. Yeah, it's only uh like eight. 30 though so um are they moving right now probably not but uh will they get up again and move probably 
and we'll go check out this new area that I've been to. I think about the uh, evening plan too. I've seen deer down the riverbed, so I could either drop down this way or there's a trail that goes into it. I just don't know how the wind would be going in there and how far back I want to go. But um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. It's like an hour of nothing right now. Absolute hour of nothing. <clears throat> and I messed up. Should have came here first thing in the morning. There's a shot of them both. Looks like the yearlings behind her and the mama does in front. I mean, could be the one from yesterday because I only saw one one yearling with her. But who knows? Man, this heat wave is starting to get pretty bad. <clears throat> heat wave is um heat wave, yeah. So. I lost them for a while, the original ones, and I found them, but I'm only seeing one. So I'm assuming the other one can't be too far. It'll be a interesting play to get down, because I need to drop a thousand feet. Like, no shit, it's a thousand foot drop. So there's a little finger behind me, right here I could drop down into. It'll take me right into it, into a degree still hunt all the way till I get to them. Good wind, wind would be in my face so they wouldn't uh so they wouldn't win me. <clears throat> There's a lot to think about because I don't know how much they're moving right now. I mean they're still up and feeding for some weird reason. But by the time it probably take me 20 minutes to get down there. And that's a lot of time for them to move. They can hide anywhere in there too, so. Gonna make a decision soon though. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna drop down this. Thousand feet, get in here. Go around the corner. And then use this tree. Right here, as a reference. All right, about halfway down, and uh, fucking course, I lost a fucking arrow. Can you tell? This shit is thick, man. This shit is not safe. I'll put it like that. This is, I don't know why the fuck it is. It's, <clears throat> it's an easy way out. I don't have to climb back up, but shit is steep as fuck. Like, incline is 45 degrees. Not even joking. Um... Yeah, I'm not even going to go look for that arrow. I'm so fucking frustrated right now. Let's hope we get a deer and make it all better. Oh, my fucking second arrow just got ripped out. Now I have zero arrows. Fucking zero. <sighs> Can't be too far. Fuck, dude. Look at this shit. 
Literally a 45 degree angle. Fucking idiot. Well, quickest way to end the hunt is to uh, lose your hunting equipment. AK your fucking arrows. I don't believe I literally just checked. They have to be within 20 yards. Fucking have to be. Frustration isn't even a word right now. Like, to describe how I feel, it's, it's annoying. Like, I... Two arrows within 10 fucking minutes? God damn, dude. I'm never done here again. At least coming in from this way. I'm just gonna go straight creek bed. I'm maybe like halfway. Back at the car, as you can see, feet are killing me. Um, died on the way up the mountain. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to say. Um, it is what it is, shit happens. Everything happens for a reason. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Luckily, I got Hunt Camp Pendleton this weekend, it's the last weekend, so I got that. Broadhead should be in, so it's okay. It's whatever. At least it wasn't some like giant buck. If it was a giant buck, I would. I'd still be out there looking for my arrows. <laughs> so, oh well, oh well. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry for the cussing and the moment feelings, which I'm sure everyone could uh, agree was appropriate. And uh, yeah, couldn't be looking for a new quiver probably too. So that's it. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. Season ain't over yet. We're gonna get a big deer, guaranteed. Peace. Did y'all really think the hunt was over? You serious? Let's go. I got the collars, baby. Uh, bone arrow shop lakeside coming through same price as amazon too oh my <sighs> i can breathe again okay. <laughs> honey ain't over baby we're getting after it i'm going not to the same spot so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop to the bottom and uh try to sit on barely on top of that little uh creek and see how it goes but first and foremost i need food <sighs> such a better mood all right broad has also set up so this dark Ray focus right here, this piece. That's what breaks when you shoot it. And that's, um, so you tap on these top parts right here. So when it makes impact, these push down and expand the blades. And these little pieces right here, focus. So the square piece on the side will break. And those are what's holding the blade in. But we're good now. We are set to go. It's a deer killing kind of day right now. Got those collars, rare. Those are rare. Like I know Amazon has them, but the fact that they had them and I had three broadheads left and three arrows, it's meant to be. Just, it's fate at this point. It is fate. I'm supposed to get a deer today. If not today, tomorrow morning, but we're shooting for today. So uh, here we got like a little two and a half mile hike down this well-established uh, hiking trail. Here we're gonna cut in. We're gonna go into the uh, creek that I, that I was found those deer earlier so that's the game plan see you there so I was up there earlier today I saw the deer and this creek bed all right so just a reference I was at the top of that thing glassing down in here Till sunset, and I'm already out of the creek bed. Didn't turn anything up. Didn't turn the the doe and its uh, yearling, or yearling up. 
Yeah, I don't know if they'll come down this way. Come, come out, so. I guess I could get like on this little hill and just cross this river pretty bad. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, the day is over. We are back at my buddy's house. It's super convenient. It's 10 minutes from the, the hunting spot, so you know, I'll get a sleep in. It's close, I don't gotta worry about driving an hour. But, um, yeah, so a bunch of highs and lows today. Obviously, I lost those arrows. It was a big day, man. I think I put in like seven and a half, eight miles today, up and down uh, mountains. So, is what it is. Saw that doe is the same doe and her yearling from earlier. Got her at 110 yards. I don't know if I said that. But, uh, yeah, so not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, I might call it just because I'm gonna hunt Pendleton for three days. So, um, might need to get on the wife's good side <laughs> so she can let me hunt all three days if, if needed so it's black friday thanksgiving or oh, black friday weekend so yeah i'm gonna wrap this up and um yeah yeah i'm tired all right y'all thank you so much for watching um like i said a bunch of ups and downs today highs and lows emotionally emotional roller coaster but you know we were able to get out for an evening hunt and up seeing a deer again but i uh, just kind of get the shot so until next time, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, click subscribe. And we still got a little over a month to get a deer. We're going to get a deer this year, y'all. Guaranteed. See you guys soon.